Hello, welcome to the daily political tarot readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I am here 365 days of the year to take your political questions out of the chat. So just put your political questions in the chat before I come on. Uh, all the questions are in the, the, the description box. So if you're watching uh, uh, the replay, well, you can go down in the description box and I timestamp them as I go. So you can just come in, pick and choose. So you've always had those options. 10% of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That is an ongoing thing. And we have got a great community. Uh, if you are new around here, hello and welcome. People here are really friendly, really help each other. And uh, if you're ever wondering why the graphics and the nails and the things and the, it's because we're trying to keep our vibration high because then we look at the news and the news can be kind of fraught and if so we can go down in the muck and read on the marjorie trader greens and the grossness and then we can pop back up like whoo okay um this is going to sound really stupid but I can't, I'm not wearing lipstick because I, I don't know what color to use. <laughs> I couldn't decide. <laughs> I have all my lipsticks here. I don't know if you want to help. <laughs> I've got these, these four, they're separate. They're, so they're kind of, they're a little, they're, they're loud. But I have this whole, I've over time, I have gathered this whole array of these Maybelline <clears throat> long wear and then I um, I label them. <laughs> and um, so I don't wear all of them, but I wear some. And so I'm 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 thinking though this one, this inspirer right here, I wear that. That is my natural. That is my absolute natural. Um, I wear this all the time, but I was thinking more this one. I was kind of hoping to find something that matched that color there. But um, these, this, that's a bit dark. What are you? Just kind of brown. Oh, hey, I think we have a winner. Cindy says, Autumn, seek help. I know. I know. Bottom row next to the middle one. So cell starter, is this the one you were thinking of? Because it's a lot like this. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. I like that. This one matches better. I like that. See, I should ask you guys more often. <laughs> I know, you're not here for this. It's like, hello. We have questions. I know. I know. Maxine is saying it's being reported that Jack Smith has been working with the DOJ from June 2022. Ah, okay. At the bottom. Okay. Thank you. Um, either of those are good. You guys are so sweet. No, um this is this is, you know, I don't I have I have just a couple more, but I don't have a lot more than this because I don't have room for more. It's like, if it fits in this drawer, that's it, which is plenty, plenty. But if it doesn't fit in the, in the, if, it, if I run out of space, I have to get rid of stuff. Hang on. Oh, you're right. The other one would have been better. You're right. It had, it needs that little bit of extra color. And then always wipe them off before I put them back. So I do need this one. I think it's this one. No, that's Savant. It was. It has some silly name like Seductress or something. Yeah, like that's. There's much of that going on. Globetrotter, Ruler. Did I put it down somewhere? Oh no, it's over here. Yes, it's over here. Yes, seductress. Oh my gosh. M. Kelpie says, I heard when Merrick Garland went to Ukraine, he was already briefing Mr. Smith. Ah, uh, that is possible. And that is why I've got the, um, 
that is why I've got this overlay today. It's kind of Dutch stuff and being in Europe and so. Wait. This will do. Okay. Not a big difference, but we got stuff to do. Mm -hmm. The only problem with Maybelline stuff is, boy, will it get on your teeth. But if I can just, if I can just keep my lips pursed for a little bit, <laughs> it'll dry because this is long wear. So. Uh, what color is Autumn's lipstick? Pressing question of the day. What color is Autumn's lipstick? This is important. Um, yes, uh, Maggie, we're we are here to help each other. That's why I asked you guys. Uh, so yes, this this is Maybelline's Superstay Matte Yes, Maybelline Superstay number 65 Seductress. I don't know that brown is seductive, but there you go. All right. And no, they don't come with, um, they don't actually come with, with like those labels. I, I, I make those labels. I, yeah. I, I kind of, yeah. So, all right. All right. I think it's almost dry. Oh, good. Almost none on my teeth. Yay! All right. So let's get on with the readings. And this is why we timestamp. So people who are like, I'm not here for this, you can even skip ahead. All right. I need to put you down somewhere. There, you can just sit right there. Sit on the seat. That makes sense. All right. Cards. Let's get going. I like it. Oh, good. Oh, good. thank you. And this is I rarely wear makeup. Um, I used to rarely wear makeup, but I'm on camera every single day now. So it's like, I, I, I kind of, and I kind of enjoy making the effort, but uh, Darren says it reminds me of the houses in Amsterdam. Yeah, that's why I put it there. I just, I uh, thought this would work well. Okay, so none on the teeth is a skill. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was, it matches your nail color. Cool. Matt says, I wish I was more female. I never used lipstick or high heels. I don't won't touch high heels. I'm done. Now I'm years ago. It was like, no more. Just no more. Oh gosh, I heard you guys um, talking about uh, JFK, and this is the 59th anniversary. Um, is it of his? Sorry, it's the 59th anniversary of his death. I thought it was in December. But uh, anyway, I, I guess it's today was his death. And uh, bless. Um, uh, I I wasn't around yet. So I, I don't. You, I know you guys were talking about where were you um, on that day. I, so it's actually, it was the year before my oldest sister was born. So I think. So anyway. Um, it's today. Thank you, Holly. Death. Thank you, Dr. Nancy. Evelyn Hartman says I'm 55. So, yeah, so you don't know, you don't know either. Okay. Oh, Kathy Rollins says I remember that day very well. I was in school and the announcement came over the loudspeaker. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. There should not be violence in politics. There shouldn't. I, I, I am so against not only what happened to um, Nancy Pelosi's husband, but Steve Scalise. I don't care what party you're in. I don't care which side you're on. And then of course there's January 6th. It's just vile. Jan November 22nd, 1963. Oh, okay.
Thank you, guys. Senior year, Louise says, 1963, second year shorthand class. Oh, man. I agree, Melissa. That's the whole idea behind democracy. Decide things without violence. Do you notice that first we thought it was the Russians? Oh, wow. That would have been... Yeah, that would have been a whole, whole other thing, wouldn't it? All right. Oh, bless. I'm going to jump into the... Um, oh, Linda says I was in study hall within an hour. We boarded buses, went home, and cried. Oh. Um, I don't know if I've got any questions about that today. I don't think so. Oh, Holly and France had the question. 11, let's just do 11 at 11.30. Uh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Yuck. I don't think he's in a good place. Oswald. I don't think he's in a good place. I don't think all is sorted out there yet. Yeah, that was... Stupid. Sorry. Throwing my cards around because. Ugh. Three of Cups. Knight of Swords. World. Jeez, could the cards be more on point? This was him driving through Daily Plaza. The attacker changed the world. The end of an era, an end of way of thinking. Um, did he act alone? What I'm getting is nudge, 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 nudge. I think he was being, I, th I think he was being played. Yeah, I'm just nudge, push. Nudge, push, nudge. That's what I'm getting. Bless. Bless. And um, those who say that he couldn't have done those shots that quickly, um, their video, you can go on YouTube, you can see video, people, people do it. They're like, yeah, of course I can. This is the exact same gun. I'm not like that gun, but it's this exact same model, exact same year, exact same, and just one, two, three. I mean, just do, 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 done. It can be done. And then the, um, and those who say that the, the, um, oh, I don't want to be in this energy that much longer. Uh, the, 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 bless the other man, it was the governor who was in, who was, who was in the, the seat sort of in front, who was also shot. Um, the reason it was it's such a it seemed like it was at a weird angle is because the chair was at a, it, the chair was it was a temporary kind of chair and um, it was actually sitting lower than the rest of the seats. So the way he was hit, uh, it actually does make sense ballistically. Okay, because it's gross. He got nudged. Um, there there were some people who spent the rest of their lives waiting for the FBI to finally come knock, knock on their door or just uh, knock it down. Governor Connolly, thank you, Ricky. Okay, John Connolly. Oh, bless. Okay. And, and I'm done. Uh, yeah, he's not in a good, Oswald's not in a good place. Just not, just. Okay. Ooh, soda. Soda, so is my stomach. <laughs> <sighs> A 
Let's go out to the lobby. Let's go out to the lobby. Let's go out to the lobby and get ourselves a drink. Whew. Okay. Moving on. Um, Jack Smith, for whom the who inspired today's overlay. New shirt, by the way. It's a birthday gift from my parents. Um, the right at well, wait, sorry, fifteen. Wait, sixteen. We'll just say sixteen. The right is mad because Jack Smith won't recuse himself from investigating Trump. Have you heard about this? Now, here's the thing. Uh, someone said that Andre was having, Andre from Astrology Alert was having trouble finding uh, Jack Smith's birth date. And so I went digging. And I mean, I went digging and this this is what i do sometimes i'm really i'm quite pleased i there there've been just like once or twice i've actually been able to go to andre and say hey, da 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 and he's like oh can do you, can i have that information i didn't know that's when this happened or when that was hap that happened and i'm like hey i have research cool um cuz he's fantastic but anyway fantastic at what he does but anyway, uh, I went digging and digging and digging. All I can think is that this guy has scrubbed as much of himself off the internet as he can. But I'm here to tell him you need to work on it more because I, it isn't even no birth time. There's no birth date. And, um, it, you know, it's, and the one, and because he's got such a common name, some people like the, the, there's some people, they, they have websites that basically are just aggregators. It's like, it'll write an article by going around the internet and finding information on whatever this is. And then it'll kind of clump it all together. Well, there's like, there's this, there's one of those. It's like, yes, his birthday is in 1943. And it's like, and he graduated from high school in 87. I don't think so. He's got to be a couple of years older than I am, like maybe a year, two years older than I am, something like that. Um, but so in all of this, I, then I told Sarah and Sarah was kind enough that she just she started digging. And we're just talking about normal stuff you can find online. You just know you just know the places to look and you just keep digging and digging and trying here and trying there and looking over there. Not, not paying any money, not, you know, um, getting in anybody's business. So unfortunately, Suvi says, I found his wife, uh, Kathy, Shiv it's actually Shiv Shivigny, Shivigny, uh, C-H-E-V-I-G-N-Y, I think it is. She was born around 70. Yeah. And they have one daughter. Uh Darren says, I think Jack Smith is 53. He's somewhere around there. Um, oh, Lola Bell, you found her birth date. Really? October 1868? And Kelby says, I saw March 11, 69. Okay, I think, I think I might have to try that. But the thing is, is that I now know more about this guy than... I know where he was born. I know where he was born. I know, I know that he's married. I know when he married. I know, I know where he got married, roughly. I know he has a daughter. I know her name. Um, Sarah was just looking around and she's like, I don't want to know his parents' name, but it's right here. So, and there's information out there on him. So it's like, hey, <laughs> can somebody who cares about Jack Smith, please go scrub his family's information too from the internet, not just his. He runs tri he's run triathletes or triathlons. He's a triathlete. Um, he and his wife are serious go-getters. 
she does a lot of documentaries, including a lot of, well, according to the right, a lot of extreme left-wing documentaries and did Michelle Obama's Becoming. She was one of the producers, what does it say? She produced Michelle Obama's Becoming documentary. So, Oksana, can you find him in his wife's astrological chart, Autumn? Oh, I'm not me, Andre, maybe. Um, can it, Maybe it'll tell you, well, your chart will often tell you what kind of person you're attracted to, but it doesn't necessarily tell you everything. Um, it can, it can be pretty vague. At least that's my understanding. Like my, like my Venus is in Sagittarius. So it makes sense. Sagittarius, the always looking over the horizon, always what's over here, what's over there. I want to try that. I want to go there. I want to, well, I am drawn to that. And I was married to a, a foreigner. I was married to an Englishman for 20 years. Um, so we, that would make sense. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to, if I marry again, it doesn't mean I'm going to marry a foreigner. Matter of fact, I'm really hoping there, <laughs> I'm really hoping he's American. <laughs> um, but um, he will probably, he'll still have that same spirit of let's try this. Let's try, even if it's just small things. I'm not usually like a go out, do stuff. I'm just more of a, oh, there's this new snack. Oh, have you read this book? Oh, have you tried this? Can you do this? Can you do that? And it's like, oh, I want to try. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that a better way to do that? Yeah, constant curiosity. Uh, so that's what you can get out of. Um, that's what you can get out of, of charts. But um, Darren says, so a Pisces, if it's March 11th, then then yes. Um. Kathy Odinson says, perhaps Jack is the sweet guy in his family with his career on taking down war criminals. I'm sure he's dealt with twerps in the past. Oh, I'm, he's, he's, I'm sure he's dealt with all kinds of threats. So, um, Lola Bell thinks he has, okay, he has Moon and Leo. He only has Juno and Neptune and Scorpio, probably has Scorpio rising. Wife is Venus, Mars, and Scorpio. Oh, you can't always tell with Pisces. Rupert Murdoch is one. Yeah. So Lola Bell, you you're going with the was it the March eleventh? Uh, March eleventh, sixty nine. I don't know. Lola Bell is an excellent astrologer. Always, always brings the great astrology information. By the way, uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday, uh, I'm going to uh, the the um, what I'm planning in the evening for the Patreon social ter uh, monthly social. I'm actually going to do some of it during the day during the live stream. Uh, I want to. I'm basically gathering all kinds of interesting astrology what I hope is interesting astrology, astrological stuff in history, in uh, crime, in, uh, you know, I'm just trying to gather a whole bunch of, of stuff just to go through. And so I, I'm, I'm hoping to go through some, some during uh, Saturday's live stream and then uh, uh, the rest in the evening at the Patreon tarot, mon uh, monthly tarot social. Uh, and it's not, it's not expensive to be a, um, I know some of you cannot afford it, but it's not expensive to be a patron, really. I don't, I don't have like $30 tiers and $50 tiers. No, I don't have any of that. So, all right. Uh, Joan is saying Scorpio energy is going, you know, the natural, yeah, it's the natural uh, de detective of the Zodiac, which is why it's like, okay, I'll find it. Dig, 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 dig. What over here? What over there? Look under this rock. Look under that. What's over here? And between that and the Sagittarius in my chart, all the Sagittarius energy in my stellium, uh, it's it's just like look, 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 look. So, 
Uh, Lulaba says his real name is John L. Smith. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Lola LaBelle says, you're welcome. I got his wife's date of birth off of Intellius. Oh, I didn't look at Intellius. Yep, John L. Smith goes by Jack Smith at work. See, I, I know more, but I just, I don't want to just spill it because, but anyway. All right. Well, in that case, um, Lola Bell, please let me know which which date you're using because I'd love to run the chart. So true, Lola Bell. The moon could be six degrees plus or minus if you do a noon birthday. Yes. Yeah, the um the 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 moon moves, what is it, 13 and a half degrees per day? Something like that. Kathy Rollins says, Oh, you do know Jack. <laughs> Not well, but hello, boo boo, in the cat tree. Oh, you look tired. Ash says, Yes, my sun and Venus are in Sagittarius. My rising is in Scorpio. I cannot get enough info ever. Endlessly curious. Yeah. Okay. All right. Da -da. All right, so going back to this, the actual question, now that we've done all that, the actual, uh, well, I don't need to write it down. Okay, um, so the right is really angry because Jack Smith won't recuse himself from investigating Trump. On the basis that... Uh, his wife is left-leaning and even produced Michelle Obama's Becoming documentary. And they legitimately made Ginny Thomas comparisons without feeling the need to make Clarence recuse himself. Will they ever understand their own hypocrisy? Well, I think it's, okay, Jack Smith sir. Uh, are you going to recuse yourself? <sighs> Nearer. Oh, they're going to be so mad on the right. You can't bribe him. You can't pressure him. He's gone after... He's gone after some of the scariest human beings on this planet. And you think he's going to be scared of Trump? You think he's going to be scared of you? You didn't even pull off an insurrection. The people he's been dealing with have genocides, coups, overthrowing governments. Yeah, he's been dealing with those people. I mean, I'm glad Trump's a loser and these other people are losers, but they're still losers. Thankfully, some of the dumbest human beings, some of the dumbest Americans who ever lived decided that they were going to try to have a coup in the Capitol. They, the worst they, well, their own people were hurt. They were definitely people hurt and killed. That's awful. That's the worst. But the second worst thing that they managed to do was turn the place into a porta potty. One guy walked off with Speaker Pelosi's lectern. Quaking in my boots on that one. Losers. All of them. I'm not going to recuse. Seriously, this is, oh, wait, wait. I don't think it's too loud. I checked. So this is Jack Smith being appointed special counsel. Yeah. This is, he's, all of this evidence is already laid out. So on the right, they're going to, they're starting a plan. Matter of fact, we're going to be looking at um, 
I'm pretty sure Marjorie Trader Green's in the list today because she is just, yep, 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 we'll, we'll get to her. Um, they have plans. Mm -hmm. Melbourne Star says those folks on the right are huddled in their my pillow forts, planning the next failed voting fraud investigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gonna, get, gonna have committee after committee after committee on Hunter Biden's laptop. There's no laptop, really? You're gonna have it on the laptop? Okay, where's the laptop? Where's the laptop? Oh, you think you have a copy of something? Really? You know that would just be thrown out of court. Just thrown out. <sighs> All right. So, Jack Smith. Yeah, he doesn't. This is not his first rodeo. No. He has he has gone after politicians. And, and the thing is, is when he, I want to say it was in Tennessee where he took over. I think he was acting. Acting attorney general. No. Acting. It was, I, it, I forget what exactly the, the, his title was, but it was very important. And he actually, there were some cases against polit, corrupt politicians or supposedly corrupt politicians that he just immediately, he just went through them and then he just said, well, we're not going after these guys. However, then there were all of these other cases over here that came up where he absolutely went after politicians. He, so it's not like he will attack anything put in front of him. He's smart. Pretty sure he graduated from law school summa cum laude. Teresa Ford said it's not even his first war crime prosecution. Yeah. And you want to talk about scary people? By comparison, Donald Trump may as well have a, a hurdy-gurt and a monkey. Anyway, why am I why am I holding this like this? Because there's all everything's already laid out. He doesn't have to do that much more investigation. The people have been doing it uh, right there. Cheryl Clark's Pisces have really strong intuitions. True. Thank you, Anne. U.S. Attorney, Middle District of Tennessee. Thank you. For Trump's not going to know what hit him. It's called reality. Oh, he's gonna be gonna be just a little upset. Teresa Ford says Trump has clown shoes and a side of fries. Ten of swords. Magician. He's not even gonna break a sweat. The work. He has a team. He's working with the team. He's gonna work with the team. Trump. You're not going to know what hit you. Legal, 10 metaphorical legal swords right in the back. And then he's just still standing there. Um, he's just, there's a, um, the problem with, with doing so, do, being a reader like this sometimes is that, in order to kind of get a chunk of information at once, it, things will come through your own memories. It's like, oh, this is making me think of this memory. Now, the thing is, is that you can end up having seen things that nobody else knows. And so you've got to explain it. And so sometimes I'm like, I'm, I, do I really, should I explain? I don't, eh. anyway. I'm a big David Sylvian fan. He's a singer. He is a singer-songwriter. And um, yeah, if you've ever heard a song Orpheus, it's it's magical. I've been singing it during while well, I do chores for years. Anyway, 
So David Sylvian, um, and, and on one of his albums, he used a um, sound bite from I do not know whom, but it was a sound bite of someone with a very, very British accent, man, an older man. And um, it was one hand, it was like one hand lifted up to God, the other pointing at the earth. And that's, it's just a sound bite and in the, in, in the song continues. Um, and that's what I think of when I see this. This is Jack Smith. This this man, he's he's here to he's got a mission. Wherever his North Node is, what he is here to do, he's on it. And he has his people. He can, well, he can delegate. He can do work himself. He works really hard. Remember, triathlete. Triathlete graduated way, way up in this classes. Super successful. So yeah, Katie Arbuckle, he's doing the thing. So he's, and this is him, he's not even breaking a sweat. And look at Trumpy. Because what you put out will come back to you. And if you defraud, if you lie, if you cheat, if you hurt people, what the energy you put out in the world will eventually come back to you. And that's what's going on. He's not going to recuse from nothing. And he shouldn't. There's no reason he should. Everybody, everybody has some reason, some connection. Everybody has, a, has, has political views. I mean, I'm not saying he's a Democrat. Chances are with his background, he's not. But then again, his wife, who sh the stuff she's done, maybe, I don't know. No guarantee they have the same political views, but eh, eh, eh. So, yeah, he's not. And, and Trump, tick tock. Okay. Oh, 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 Lola Bell. Lola Bell has information. His north node is conjunct his Mars Saturn in Aries. Is that a Mars-Saturn conjunction? I'm sorry. Or is that the midpoint? I'm afraid I... I it's hard in the chat. <laughs> uh, but his North Node... It, well, Mars-Saturn... Mars it would be that triathlete energy, that go-getter, that top of the class, that... And then Saturn would be... Uh, you, you do the work and you get the reward. And you do the work. And if you do the work, you will be rewarded. If you don't do the work, you are toast. Not the life of the, the, the Saturn's the one who ends the party. So. Um, do, do, do. Mimi says, I believe it's been reported that Jack Smith is an independent. That would make sense. I don't think my mom had any physical therapy planned for today. Huh. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, um, a little about Mars-Saturn conjunction. Oh, my gosh. It's frustrated but determined energy. North and is exactly conjunct Mars. He's here to fight. And fight he does. And fight he does well. So I like it. Yep. All right, so 30, 39, 30, we'll, we'll take the temperature of the, um, let's take the temperature of the kafefe that the, uh, the Trump's people are um, still drinking or not. A recent poll shows Trump voters are angry when confronted with proof of how much he skimmed from other candidates' campaigns. Yeah. Are they angry enough to stop supporting him? The 
because apparently there's a there's a link in the description but it basically he would go places he would raise his money and he would just keep big chunks of it i i don't i don't understand how they'd be upset now how could you not know but oh kristen i saw i saw when you posted that earlier thank you the world Trump's world is changing. The old ways of doing things, not so much. Ten of Cups, Justice, Ace of Cups, it is imminent. It's imminent. Justice is, it's right there for Trump. You're done. The evidence has been gathered. It's organized. There's justice in the middle, world card, end of an era, beginning of another, beginning right here, just waiting for them to pull the trigger. There are a bunch of different things that are right there. So I have to look at the... Um, in astrology, then you can look at and see if what when the next kind of trigger points, the big trigger points in a chart are. So, Ricky, will it be before the new year? I've been getting yes. But let's ask. I'll ask again. Um, at 42. Will Trump be invited before the new year Now I've got David Sylvian's nostalgia going through my head. Hmm, very pleasant. Oh, Lola Bell has more information. Meant to mention Jack has asteroid Therius exactly conjunct his sun in Pisces, squaring Trump's sun and moon because Trump has sun opposite moon. Theseus is the hunter stalker. He will be on Trump like white on rice. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Yay. I priestess. Secrets, grand juries are supposed to be secrets. So in a sense, we won't see it coming. King of Swords, there's your prosecutor. Prosecutors going wherever they need to go with potential, sorry, with potential of going up the river, uh, sending people up the river of, oh, the card of nostalgia. Six of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Swords. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> We're fine. He's not. Although with this here, this makes me wonder if this is Christmas. And this is just after, but no, I, I even Funny Willis was saying she was saying she was talking about December. Pulling the trigger in December. The legal trigger. No violence. Pulling the legal trigger in, in December. So. Merry Christmas. Ricky says, Autumn, I love those cards. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Ford. That's very sweet of you. Lady Eva says that Ten of Swords is showing up a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, Valerie. 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 Oh, Valerie.
Marie, thank you for becoming a member. Thank you. Okay, so at 40, 45, 30, E. Jean Carroll. Bless this woman. Bless this woman. What a nightmare. What a nightmare she went through. And, oh, she is just going for Trump. Good for you. Good for you. Bless. 45. I'll make it 45, 45. 45, 45. Eugene Carroll is suing Donald Trump again under the window afforded by the Adult Survivors Act. This is a suit for battery. Will he be able to weasel his way out of this one? My understanding, isn't this, is this the third? This might be, what is it? Because, well, this is for battery. There's the original case, then there's the case because he came out after being in office and repeated the stuff that got him in trouble in the first place. J for genius. And, um, but now there's this for battery. This poor woman. Oh, jeez. Bless, bless her. Bless Eugene Carroll. I like that Kathy Delisle. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, I'm not doing well in the singing. Uh, 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 there we go. Have yourselves a merry large indictment. May your hearts be light. From now on, old Chumpy will be out of sight. She's going after him. Yeah. Uh, Kristen's giving some great information on a court case, but I, I don't know which one it is. I'm sorry. Oh, you scumbag. Look what you did. Look what you did to her. You scum of the earth. Entertainment only, YouTube. Entertainment only. Oh, thank you, he Oh, tweeting about the 11th court, Circuit Court of Appeals. Thank you, Kristen. Six of Cups. She's got the receipts. Strength. Five of Swords. Nine of Wands. She is strong. He is awful. This is not going to go... See, I don't, I, I've never picked up on this being a, the case that just sinks Trump. But it's going to batter the heck out of him for battery. Thank you, Cheryl. Dr. Nancy says, Bow of the Fifth volunteers with abused women. Oh, bless. Thank you, Darren. Randy Rainbow is a singer. Like, wow. I do like it. When his, his recent, when one of his recent songs, he says, you know, I'm running out of show tunes. <laughs> Queen of Swords. 
litigation, litigator, five of pentacles, lovers, ugh, pay up. Yeah, he's 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 gonna get dragged over the coals. So, oh yeah, Randy Rainbow is awesome. Oh, thank you. M. Kelby says, death by a thousand cuts is okay with me. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Let's do that. Songs are metaphorical. Uh, do, do. Okay. Uh, at 51 minutes in, Vel Ray had a question. The Oath Keepers, Oath Creepers, trial has gone to the jury this morning. Will they be found guilty as charged with seditious conspiracy? Is that is this is this what's going on? Verily, they are scumbags. Julie Robinette says there are five of them. Oh, including Stewie. Mm. Oh, he did, okay. Well, you cause you cause uh, you cause some problems. Use this ten of cups, and you're all losers. Just, just saying, losers. But seditious conspiracy. Ten of cups, three of wands, nine of cups in the middle, queen of cups, ace of swords. They're toast. What the cards are saying they. They fudged around, and they're going to find out. Uh, and this is what you try to do to America. We made it through that. What they've done coming back toward them, the evidence is all there. This is the government, uh, Biden under the Biden administration. This is this is the government. This is the truth. You're you're they're coming up against evidence, clarity, and the truth. And I'm sorry, did, did I, did I miss, did I miss uh, Donald Trump being there in person to uh, be supportive of them? Paying their legal bills? Julie says, geez, your energy, Autumn, your energy today is off the chain. Oh, Thank you. Did I lose internet? Hang on. I may have lost internet for a minute. But I think it's back. Sorry about that. Okay, at 50, 54.30. The DOJ won its case to use some of the Mar-a-Lago, sorry, this is itch on my skin, right there. Uh, the DOJ won its case to use some of the Mar-a-Lago documents in its probe, with the judge rejecting the idea that some documents were declassified with his mind. I read tarot cards on YouTube, and even I think that's stupid. In the wider world, I have very little credibility because of my beliefs. 
I don't care. I, I have them. You guys know me. <laughs> um, declassified. I can just declassify it by thinking about it. Well, considering how much you think. So, how's it looking for Donald's? Oh, the DOJ case about the top secret. <laughs> oh, metaphorical. Would you like some coffin nails? I've got, they've, they've got plenty to spare. Coffin, coffin nails all around metaphorical coffin nails. He's, he's, he's toast. Put some, you know, just throw some, some jam on him or something and he's toast. Judgment, big, loud judgment. Nine of nine of pentacles. I do what I want. Five of pentacles. Yeah, grift because you're running low on money. Prosecutors. There's the sun and the page of swords. Trump apparently he's trying to do something legally. That's it. It's the next question. Trump is desperately trying to find out who the FBI informant was in his documents case. This is a spy. Toast. Fran says, remember Trump is a grown man child and he whines. Yes. Would you like some cheese and crackers with that wine? Oh boy. All right. So, uh, Trump at 50. You're okay, sweetheart. I know it's a big, scary trash, trash truck day, but you're okay because you are a good kitty. You're all right. Oh my good boy. All right. At 4749, Trump is desperately uh, trying to find out who the FBI informant was in his documents case. Hours before the case is going to the 11th Circuit, he filed a motion to ask Judge Cannon, of course, Judge Cannon, if she will unseal and release the search warrant affidavit in full. Now, if it was anyone other than Judge Cannon, I would say, <laughs> nice try. But um, it's Judge Cannon. So will Judge Cannon unseal and release the search warrant affidavit in full, which would reveal the informants? Thank you, Kristen. I know it's live now, but I, I'm, I'm, I've got some questions to go through. Thank you. Oh, man. Um, cannon. Loose cannon. Will she unseal and release the search warrant affidavit? Considering, isn't the case going on right now? A question... Um, isn't right now the question of whether Cannon should be on this case at all or whether she should get booted? Isn't that? Correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you, C. Torino. Seven of Pentacles. Fruits of Labor. All of that information is there. Thank you for saying that you think I have, I have uh, credibility because I don't lie. I don't lie to you guys. I don't, you know, I don't pretend I have mystical powers that I don't. I don't pretend that I'm better than other people. I don't, I'm just here. I'm doing the best I can and 
trying to brighten your day. Make the news a little easier to, to uh, go through. So the truth <clears throat> and the world. Yeah, so she may be about to get booted hermit. That's isolation. Just legal silence three of this could not be more clearly you're done <laughs> this little era going on with judge cannon done isolation legal legally quiet as a silent as a tomb <laughs> gee is this going to end do do you know, do you think I might lose my job? Do you think my relationship might come to an end? My or, or my legal relationship might come to an end? Do you have a plan B in case that happens? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Judge Cannon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, there, that was that was fun. Hang on. Case, Judge... Uh, thank you, Kristen, for uncovering the news. Case, Judge Britt Grant corrects Trump's counsel use of the term raid to describe the search and seizure at Mar-a-Lago. Not going well for Trump's counsel. I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Shocked. Okay. Anyway, we will... Um, I definitely want to get to... Uh, these cup, these next couple of um, they're three, four, but they're definitely. I want to. Um, I definitely want to read them. Let, let's do Marjorie Trader Green. Let's do that. At one at one o two thirty. Uh, oh, 2.30. Marjorie Trader Green has been given permission to lead hearings. Investigating the DOJ for investigating January 6th. Okay, how's that going to go? By the way, I, got, I, I touched on her energy and it just felt like gross energy just like dripped out of my third eye. It's like, ugh, she is so awful. Ugh. Anna says, yes, yeah, swampy sewer water feels. Marjorie Trader Green. The Republicans are that close to losing control of the House again. Somebody sneezes and they're going to lose control of the House again. And Marjorie Trader Green's going to be... Oof. Oh, thank you, Cindy. That's very sweet. Thank you. I, I'm not, I'm, my, I would love to say my track record is perfect. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I know that. Thank you. Oh, Lola Bell, you have such great information. Seven of Cups. Lies. Lies. More lies. Lies after that. Oh, who was it that I, I, I found? I sent Sarah a, an image a screen grab. Hang on. This. Hang on. I need to. What are you doing? I need to save that and edit. Almost done. Almost done. It's worth it. Because this is this is 
Marjorie Trader Green. See, I don't, uh, you know, you know, I love Jen Lynn and Johnny and Becca on Sunday nights. They're awesome. Uh, but there's uh, something they talk about with, with Marjorie Trader Green that I just, I can't go there. I just, I can't. But the idea of her having some kind of disease done. There we go. Yeah. Marjorie Trader Green. She has liabetes. <laughs> yeah. Marjorie Trader Green. That's her. Chronic. Possibly fatal. <laughs> Politically fatal. Liabetes. Two of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Swords and... Ace of Pentacles. Oh, she's got plans. Oh, she has plans. She's decided. Oh, she is gung ho. She is. Oh, this is. Ew. This is like a fantasy come true. Ugh. Uh, oh my gosh. She is. Oh, gross. She's so. She's so in. Oh. Oh, yeah, flopping around like a fish doing pull-ups. Marjorie Trader Green doing pull-ups. <laughs> That's... Eight of... Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords. She's... She, oh, she's getting all ready. She's getting everything. Oh, oh, yo. Oh yeah, oh she bathes in kafefe. I mean it's just oh she's so she's so excited. Do not underestimate the Democrats, Democratic voters, because the truth is on their side, not yours. Matter of fact, you with the uh you with the liabetes, that's you working over here. Enjoy it while it lasts. But she's so excited. Oh, oh my gosh, Sarah, uh, sorry, Stephanie's saying, Trillium Tarot, he keeps talking over the judge not letting the judge speak. Oh yeah, that always works well in court. Kathy DeLassa, she's drunk on her own supply. Oh yeah. Ugh. All right. Um. Well, I definitely want to at least cover this one other question. One oh nine and a bit. One oh nine. Yeah. Fifteen. Marge. Marjorie Trader Green's personal Twitter was just reinstated. Yay. Um, she immediately used it to ask followers to help her pay her $700,000 legal bills from defending her ability to run... Uh, run for office in the case brought against her earlier this year because of her participation in January 6th. Is she still the big money magnet? Yeah, Krista March, a liabetic coma, anyone? Yeah. Well, she'd be quiet then, but because it's not a real thing, we do not want anyone being hurt. 
not will not physically hurt no 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 but anyway yes a diabetic coma uh so suckers suckers of the world going to go give Marjorie Trader Green $700,000 to pay her legal bills. And since I thought she was a millionaire. Yep. Apparently she and her husband uh, invested lots of money in, in businesses. Lots of businesses. Not like, not like, um, not like Bobert who just had a business that she was trying to run and failed. Um, but this is a whole bunch of them. Hermit. Is she really? Is she isolated? Partnership. Ten of swords. Three of... Well, she's still got the planning, but... Oh, I see. I see. She's isolated right now, but once she gets in, once she starts sticking it to the uh, Democrats and et cetera, et cetera, they'll, she's hoping they'll, they'll, a lot more money will come pouring in. But Kathy DeLisle, she says she got $187,000 in forgiven PPC loans. Mm-hmm. Communication. Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. She's so looking forward to it. She's got, she's going to have all her notes. She's going to have, she might even fill up a legal pad. Um, Wheel of Fortune, tick, tock, tick, tock. That's what I get. It won't. She's not going to succeed. I'm so excited I could be the investigator. Oh, you may get to be the investigated. This is, she's not going to be able to, to have the, she's not going to be able to cause, cause the ripples that, and the waves that she's going to want to. It's just not going to, she'll be like, look at what I'm doing. And meanwhile, the, the, you know, the rest of the world, uh, for the most part is, uh, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, all right. That's going to do it for me for today. But thank you so much. And thank you for helping me today. Appreciate that. It's 1.34 p.m. here in Chicago uh, at 3.30 p.m. So two hours from now, just, just under. I'll be over on the Creative Sprints channel to do Creative Sprints. You're always welcome to join. Just bring whatever knitting, sewing, writing, drawing, musical instrument you play, whatever. Just come along. We'll try to encourage you. That's it. Pretty simple. Other than that, I will be right back here tomorrow. I'm here 365 days of the year. I have to, um, I have, well, I, there, I thought that I was going to have a guest on Thanksgiving Thursday, but I'll have to see, I have to contact that person because I, maybe they forgot. But anyway, um, also tomorrow, this is important. I forgot to mention up front. Tomorrow, coming on at 1030, not noon, Chicago time. Uh, there's all kinds of physical therapy and and physical therapy, if physical therapist coming from my mom, there's a um, there's a an appliance repair person coming at noon. <laughs> there's there's all kinds of stuff. So it's like I'm going on at 1030. So when all that happens, so yeah, early tomorrow, but then everything goes back to normal and I will definitely be here Thanksgiving day. All right. And Saturday we'll do some, in, part of it will be some interesting astrology, hopefully. And then uh, Sunday, 
Saturday evening, Saturday, last Saturday of the month, 8 to 10 p.m. Chicago time uh, for Patreon at Zotero Social. So, all right, that's it. Hang in there. You are not alone. We are in this together, and there are good days ahead. All right, so take care, right, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning, 10.30 a.m. Chicago time. Thank you, Warrior Witch. Thank you, everybody.